Hey there, people. <laughs> New intro. Welcome to an actual video. Um, I basically finished watching Markiplier's video. Um, it was a try not to laugh, and uh, I'll put that in the description, the link of that video, and uh, I'll put I'll put in the description the link of this site, this article. But yeah, he said that this article made him laugh a lot, and uh, he said he guarantees everyone will laugh at it. So if I don't laugh, then his channel belongs to me. It it seems pretty fair. So. I'm just gonna stop trying to be funny, <laughs> stop trying with the intro, and actually get to it. Because I'm actually really interested. Th this is a try not to laugh video. <laughs> Note that. So, I don't know what to expect from it. You'd expect try not to laughs to be, oh, videos, copyright, vine. Yeah, I, I don't know, <laughs> I, I have no idea. I, I, I've never even heard of this, so <clears throat> let's just get started and stop rambling. Verse Life Ever, the story of Kazuyuki Fujita's skull. Okay. It was made in January 14, 2010. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess this is the guy, the guy in the picture. Appa... Apatosaurus added for scale. Not funny. Okay. Kazuyuki Ironhead Fujita made a fighting career out of having a thick skull. I have something else that's thick that can make a fighting career on itself. I'm 14. This is... This is that skull story. Oh, that's actually... This isn't his story. This is his skull's sc story. <laughs> okay. Like many mixed martial artists, Fujita started as a wrestler. Unlike many mixed martial artists, he never learned a second skill. It would take, uh, it would take him 60 minutes to describe to you what he thinks a kick is. And he, attempts to, and he attempts submission holds the same way he tries on hats, confusedly pulling in random directions with no results. That's because his skull is measurably thicker than a normal skull. If you were to take an x-ray of it, you'd fire your medical equipment for coming in to work drunk. He was created by filling a cement truck with coconut... With coconut sperm and no one was surprised. And no one was more surprised than, than that cement truck. <laughs> that doesn't count. <clears throat> <clears throat> that was a cough. Since he was diagnosed with his... <sighs> Since he was diagnosed with his head, he has been searching for the man who would one day destroy it. I understand many readers don't follow or, re or relate to the sport of mixed martial arts, but f for those readers... Are in, but for those readers, I'm are in luck because I speak fluent. Nerd. This section will have a nerd plantation to help everyone enjoy this skull's terrible and ridiculous journey. Oh my God! Continue reading below. Oh my God, Fujita Kazuyuki. Okay, there's more. Fujita Skull vs. Mark Kerr, the birth of For Fuck's Sakes. Okay. Uh, okay. In Fujita's fourth professional fight, he faced 260 viney pounds of world-class wrestling and emotional issues named Mark Kerr. Using a style of kickboxing A, that's something I train, based around the tango and signaling rescue planes. <laughs> Fujita hopped around like a scarecrow in gunfire while Mark Kerr blasted him in the face with punches and knees. <laughs> Mark Kerr wasn't exactly Bruce D himself, but when you bench for 600, 600 pounds, just swinging your paw through the air, it's going to knock salmon out every river for two miles. Nerd's Plantation. Oh God. To put the damage Fujita's face took 
into perspective. Steroid users couldn't measure their dicks for an entire year when Mark here hit a button on a calculator. <laughs> that doesn't count, I coughed. And killed the number two. <sighs> okay, I got this. I'm sure you've seen a shortened bus filled with... Re <coughs> I cough. I cough every single time. I just cough with retarded children. <clears throat> well, that was just a regular school bus before Mark <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not. Before Mark <laughs> I'm not laughing. Before Mark Kerr waved at it. For three minutes, everything he either fighter did resulted in a hard part of Mark Kerr getting smashed in. <laughs> To Vegeta's medically impossible head. I haven't la laughed yet. That's that's just tears. I'm crying. It looked like an industrial. It looked like an industrial training. Okay, I'm I'm iron. It looks like it looked like an industrial training video on how to turn a human into soup using just one naked man. If I was Fujita's family, I would have already been ordering a box of Gorilla Soy diapers <laughs> and flashcards so he could relearn all our names. But his face suicide was all part of Fujita's plan. After five minutes of savage and and a bar and a baronic and a baronic assault, Mark Kerr. Kerr's brain and body agreed that it was time to give up. He went fetal and Fujita's and Fujita punched the back of his head for ten minutes which in which in the back of the head time is continue reading below for, <laughs> fucking forever. This surprising wind led to this surprising wind led to an invention of the F Ujitas F I think S system for fuck's sakes which would serve him well throughout his career. Let's go over the bas the basics. First, receive a beating a beating until opponent falls opponent falls asleep to Malpon <laughs> I'm crying. I'm not laughing. Mall opponents unconscious body free free realized that the celebration banana was was a trick and that you once again been led into a cage for safe transport. <sighs> oh Jesus! I'm just looking at the picture now. FFF's fighting tip num number half. Nobody can punch forever. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Fujita Skull versus Ken Shamrock's helmet laws are for pussies. <sighs> Next, Fujita fought Ken Shamrock. Throughout Ken's long MMA career, this is easily the greatest prefer performance he has ever had. He unloaded on Fujita. Every punch and kick of every combination landed exactly on Fujita's chin. I swear, Fujita mailed Ken Shamrock a list of every move he was going to do and Ken g got together with Jean-Claude Van Damme to plan the most destructive and beautiful ways to counter them. Jean-Claude maybe did a little consulting on Fujita's side too, since the only move that Fujita landed in the in the entire fight was a crotch shot. The showdown continued for six minutes. This guy. Ken Shamrock's excessive mar martial arts training versus a mix of Vegeta. Oh Jesus. But Shamrock was no match for Fujita's Ah, for fuck's sakes. For FFS, something strange happened. Ken beat this man so hard that he 
No bullshit started in having a heart <laughs> a heart palpitations and his corner flew in the towel. Seriously. Fujita took up beating so severe that the man doing it had a goddamn heart attack. <laughs> I guess it was strategy devised by his stand-up coach, Anna Nicole Smith's vagina. <laughs> and while... <clears throat> And while directors were treating Ken Shamrock, the only thing that was heard on Fujita's was the team of archaeologists that happened to be exploring his skull's upper mental <laughs> at the time. <laughs> Nerd's plantation. When creating characters in video games, you often have to make sacrifices. For example, you, your rogue doesn't have enough points to learn mutilate and killing spree. It's, same, it's the same thing when scientists create hygienist cold punching bag monsters. If you... <laughs> If you're spa if you're sparring for invincible head, there aren't enough points left over to put <laughs> into agility. Fujinus actually has a minus sixty-five to dodge, <laughs> which means <laughs> cars instinctively swerve into <laughs> and it takes him ten minutes and a man shaped hole in the wall to get through a doorway. <laughs> oh my Jesus. Fujita Skull versus Crow Cop. Fujita Skull takes a j takes a job at the female ejaculation plant. Whew. Japan had a childlike fa fascination with the strange matchups. If two things are stupidly, if two things are stupidly different, Japan will put them in a cage and see what. <laughs> <laughs> All their fight cards have at least one match between a giant fat guy and something that looks like it should be making Christmas toys. <laughs> if a man with no arms and a man with no legs started learning karate, the same light, the same light bulb would appear over every head in Japan. <laughs> That's right. Glue them together. <laughs> See if they can kill a pet. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Through their own experiments, every Japanese parent knows exactly how to make rhinoceros beetles. <laughs> You have to put in a baby scream to make it a fair fight. And I guarantee you that when the first cheeseburger comes to life, Japan will throw it in the ring with a sumo wrestler before it ever gets a chance to lead to our fa to our better lives in the sky. <clears throat> Why is this guy with SWAT people? Okay. So it's no surprise that fight promoters decided to put him in the ring with Crow Cop. Take the man with crazy heart take the man with the crazy heart head and put him in a ring with the guy who kicks heads crazy hard. The result might surprise you. Practically exploded head and an explosion of blood and the Crow Cop measured Fujita's slow motion take the hound attempts and threw a knee into his eyeball just as he was coming in. Fujita didn't even notice. It takes so long. It's, wait. It takes so long for light to reach the center of his head that he wouldn't even even know one of his eyes was cut So all he did <laughs> was finish the takedown and try to drown go off in a <laughs> The referee had to inf inf 
inflate a live ram just to paddle over and stop. <laughs> Oh god, there's a video. There's a video. I want to watch it. I want to watch the video. Probably I'm going to watch it. Oh god. Let me just finish reading this and then I'll watch that video for the ending. <laughs> Nerds Plantation. For Japanese fight promoter, Fujita's cr cranium is like a boss monster they're seeing for the first time. <clears throat> they're so compelled and excited to destroy it, but the only thing that <laughs> they can do is hit it with every weapon in their inventory until something works. This was the Eureka, the Eureka moment. Holy water bounces off. A rift hits for zero bubble. L l lead actually heals him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Look at how much crow crow cop took off. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, I'm gonna enjoy that watching that fight. Fujita Skull versus Crow Cop again. We'll We must destroy that that bitch we love. After engineers designed a needle capable of it, they stitched Fujita's skin back together and was given a... Wait, let me just read this picture. Fighting isn't always the end. A rematch against Crow Cop. Fujita should win this one, right? I mean, what are the chances that something with almost 100% certainly will happen twice? And what took him 29 seconds for Gita to watch the 18 seconds of his first fight carefully and devise the perfect plan to defeat Crow Cop? Exactly the same thing. <laughs> He charged he charged with takedown and Crow Cop countered by kneeing him in the head. But instead of taking the <laughs> them with the front of his head, he blocked them with the top with the top of his head for <laughs> crashing for crashing knee after crashing knee Crow Cop's giraffe legs were screaming for Fujita's spine to become paralyzed and the fucking thing was too stupid to understand. <laughs> for fuck's sakes doesn't know doesn't work against Crow Cop. <laughs> Instead of throwing a frantic combination, Crow Cop likes to take his time and throw one big kick that only gets described during a, <laughs> a eulogy. You can't tire him out or give him a heart attack by pretending to be his soccer ball. The only thing Fujita's invincibility did for him in this fight was let Crow Cop's knees <laughs> manufacate cubic zikronic against his forehead until time ran out. Nerd's plantation. <sighs> Imagine for a moment that Scooter the GoBot turns into a scooter fought the construction the constructions. If moment in the fight they formed Devastator and stomped stomped on him, you'd be surprised how simple and un uninspiring it was. That's what this fight was like. No one could have predicted that every single obvious thing we expected would happen. Oh god. Fujita Skull vs. Fedor Emelianenko A New Hope By this point in his career, the world now knows that, Fujita, that Kazayuki's Fujita has only two assets, a clumsy takedown and a force field where his brain <laughs> reflexes should be. So pride fighting champions decide he was ready to take on the best fighter in the world, Fedor Emelianenko. <laughs> Fight promoters apparently gave up on fighting someone who couldn't beat the guy, and now they were just using him to conduct further stress tests, tests on Fujita's head. They were sure that Fedor would be the, the thing to finally crack it open and allow evil scientists to reverse engineer his remains, almost certainly to grow a more durable sex melon. 
an unlikable robot to fuck them. Then Fujita did something that surprised even him. He almost won. He landed a knee buckling counter to counter punch to this day is punching bag camouflage. He was about to beat someone by hitting them. <laughs> Unfortunately, Fedor found a practical solution to Fujita. Get behind him, grab his unbreakable hand, and yank it the fuck off his body. The official fight record records call it a rear naked choke. But that's like calling Tianame Square a wet t-shirt contest. If the ref hadn't stopped that, Fedor was going to take that hit home. <laughs> to his spaceship and polish <laughs> Nerd's plantation. I think that last part was already a nerd. <laughs> oh god, that's the fight in YouTube. Oh Jesus. Okay. Fujita Skull versus Van Dryly Silva on the Wings of Hope. Crow Cop proves that Fujita's head is a living tissue over a metal and, and the skeleton. And then Fedor proved that it will surrender if you start to s severe it to yeah, to severe it from its body. But Japanese fight promoters still hadn't gotten a chance to see someone just pound on it until it cracked. If it explodes, then you expose its core. Is it filled with something that you can rape for the octopus? That's a win. It hit them. Wandarly Silva. That guy. Hates skulls. At the time, the country of Japan was using Wandarly Silva to control the fighter. The fighter population and they occasionally dragged him on a chain through the ocean to hunt whales <laughs> in the least humane way possible. <laughs> the fight was a massacre. Fujita tried every both of his techniques against Wan Darley. He slowly waited to get punched and laid on top of him without doing anything. Neither worked and one entirely eventually got to his feet and stalked Fujita like a Japanese octopus and all female f <laughs> I get that joke. He hit him as hard as you can hit someone many times. And every time Fujita fell down, Silva kicked him in the head as he was going for a 70-yard field goal. None of this did anything. Half of the arena was crying since they f they thought they were watching a <laughs> one ape administer the death penalty to down kicking him. Watching him get up and starting from the top, Someone outside the ring, or probably just a chunk of shrapnel, hit the bell, and the referee declared it knockout. But <laughs> Fujita was already back up before the words were even out of his mouth. Why'd they stop it? The wonder. <laughs> he had one entirely right where he wanted him. <laughs> Nerd's plantation. Science can't explain this. One entirely dropped. A shock and a campaign on that head and couldn't hurt it. This fight was stopped. The only this time was was stopped only to get everyone's car alarms to shut up. It only had nothing to do with Fujita's safety. Fujita was probably back up, back to identifying simply sh s simple simple shapes that very same night. Oh god, that fight is here too. Fujita Skull vs. James Thompson, don't call it a comeback. I was never, kind of, never here. <laughs> <laughs> James Thompson is an imposing figure, so imposing that during the stare down, Fujita 
admired his abs and groin area and gave him a proving thumbs up. It was unpredictably inappropriate. <laughs> but there was a science of this filtering for fuck's sakes work a lot better if your opponent comes you a completely incoherent homophobic rage and James Thompson did. Thompson manhandled him, hitting him with hundreds of unanswered punches and knees. He was going to prove he wasn't gay even if he had to first every last bit of his vi vitamin supplemented shirtless body against Vegeta's best like hide. It probably smelled like a leather smoothie. The gayer, that's that sounds. Oh God, Nerd's plantation. After take after taking an eight minute beating that mocked mankind's entire unpredict unpredicting of physics and medicine, Fujita starting throwing his own punches, drunken woman like punches. <laughs> But when you're James Thompson and you re recently spent 8 minutes having 550 pounds of violence meat around the wing, you'll take any excuse you can get for a nap. By this point of the fight, Fujita could have screamed, boo, and knocked him out. But he had to save his voice. He had a screaming date with Lou Ferrigone later. I just don't know. Fujita's Skull vs. Al Alistar's Overeem The Final Crusade Alistar Overeem is a Dutch kickboxer Hey, that's pretty cool Who looks like someone at Marvel Comics Drew a man genetically engineered to fuck your, your girlfriend <sighs> And at the end of 2009 This giant black for best hit Evator T I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it with a knee that ad adjusted the the earth's tides. Police were already tapping off Alistair's legs before Ever Everton dropped face first onto the canvas with his open with his eyes open. During the replay you can actually <laughs> hear the knee call gunshots wound pussies. <laughs> J Japanese fight promoter saw this and may had a great idea. Restraints that take like fish, that taste like fish. But right before that, this could be the man to finally shatter Fujita's iron head. They set up the fight for New Year's Eve. The 39-year-old wrestler, wrestler with an advantageous birth defect versus... <laughs> uh, versus six and a half feet of death dealing... Em emasculation. <laughs> this wasn't just a battle between genetic perf <laughs> perfection and someone bored out of head sor sorcery. It was possibly Japan's last chance to experiment on this call and had given them so much joy and baffling medical data over the years. Oh my god, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Wait, let me just grab something real quick. Um, there we go. Just a, co a little breather before we continue. Because what the fuck. I don't think I'm gonna record the fight. I'm actually just gonna watch the fight and enjoy them myself. Sorry, you can watch them and... I'm actually gonna put the links to the fights in the description too. Because I'm a nice guy. Okay, there we go. Where was I left? Left, experiment that can give so much joy and baffling medical data over the years. Just short of literal definition, the fight began with Alistar beating the shit out of Fujita. Kazuyuki Fujita has been in a constant state of what you and I would call near death for ten years. But this is the first time I've ever seen. <clears throat> I've ever seen him look scared. After Overeem lands two knees, Fujita backs into the corner, then sheeply tries sneaking past Alist Alistar 
pun punches him back into the corner and lands a fair knee that I swear light lights on the fucking fire before impact. <laughs> <laughs> it's really you, the chosen one. <gasps> he is the chosen one. Here's the crazy part. Though he doesn't get back up, he stays on the ground, holding his head as baffled as the rest of us. I have a theory that the previous 1,000, 17,000 blows to the head all gave him amnesia. <laughs> And this L Looney Tunes bunk gave his head all its memories back. <laughs> Japan finally got what it wanted. Only there was no candy, surprises, inside Fujita. <laughs> there was no tiny pilot demanding to know why, human why humans broke his ape ship. <laughs> Just a guy with a, the seeds worth a fist cratered. Bad decision catching up most to him all the same time. It'd be almost tragic if you could look away from the slow motion rippling of Alistar's muscles inside the instant replay. <laughs> oh god. Nerd, nerd's plantation. The secret wars of human torch was being choked by. Ultron, a robot completely encased in in adamantium. Obviously, fire doesn't do much again against any metal from the Coulium family. So Torch went Nova, so he would so he would at least look awesome as he died. However, Ultron stopped. His shell was in, intact, but the Nova flames melted something important important inside him i think that's what we're dealing with here alistar couldn't figure out how to crack vegeta's skull so he simply hit it hard enough that everything <laughs> in it turned to <laughs> liquid <laughs> one would imagine what that we're talking about a brain <laughs> but remember this is the same man who fought all these terrifying people with his face <laughs> with a brain come up with that plan there's still so much we don't know i say we go back and on the drawing board and with fujita skull experiments japan japan i missed them already Oh my god, it's over. It's over. <laughs> well, it's clear to say I didn't laugh. I'm the winner. <laughs> Thank you, Markiplier. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you like to leave a like and subscribe to see more original, original content like this in the future. I suggest you guys watch this before even watching my reaction of it. I mean, yeah, I'm like that guy who says, um, uh, wait, let me think of, Marco dies in Attack on Titan, spoiler alert. Yeah, I'm basically that, that guy now, but thanks for watching this, try not to laugh, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.